what is a Brazilian wax? Do you know what that is? What is it? Oh, nah. <laughs> nah. Subscribe for more videos! Um, what do you like most about having wifey around? It's just, like, she makes me happy. Like, I don't know, my heart just feels, like, good when I'm around her. And, I don't know. Um, Amber, if this doesn't work out with wifey, would you take time to work on yourself or look for another girlfriend? I'm never looking for a girlfriend, so. And I hope that it does work with her. I don't really see why it wouldn't at the moment. Why do you think your girlfriends always break up with you? Uh, they don't. I've broken up with past girlfriends as well. Um, and they always have a valid reason, so. And thankfully, it's never about me, because trust me, like, well, besides Destiny. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes a part of me feels like she broke up with me because she found Dana, which is totally fine. Like, I'm totes over it, but I don't know. <sighs> okay, do you feel like wifey is more in control of you than Becky was? <laughs> did you need more... Wait, did you need more of a dominant girlfriend? Um... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What is one thing in your life that you cannot live without? So can it be like a person, like an animal? Because obviously I would say my fur babies. And I mean, it would be hard to live without my girlfriend. So that. Obviously the internet. My phone. YouTube. Um, my freaking mother. Uh, air. Music. I mean, I can go on for sure. A good makeup moment oh by the way a lot of you are gonna think this is like dumb or whatever but i did over 5,000 steps yesterday and it was hard i'm gonna be honest but it wasn't like as hard as it might seem for someone my size if that makes sense so very proud name one bad thing about wifey <laughs> you know what i want to say huh am i allowed to say it Is that what you thought? Wait, what did you think I was going to say? You can say that. Wait, did you think it was something else? Yeah, but we'll talk about it later. You can say it. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, so... <laughs> the one thing that me and her don't agree on is... want to say it okay she is like she wants like <laughs> i don't know how to word it she's polly but she said she'd be willing to be monogamous with me try it out and i did a little compromise moment but i'm not gonna say like what it is um <sighs> which is hard but she <laughs> she doesn't want to date other people just <laughs> you know okay it is what it is we just disagree but we try to talk about it so you know is wifey ashamed of you that's why she won't go on camera i don't think she's ashamed of me she wants to cheat on you no that's not really no i don't think like the way that she describes it it's definitely not like cheating because i don't know i mean i get it it does seem that way. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You guys wanted the answer. That's the answer. I don't want to talk about it anymore because the subject makes me just... Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't need to compromise. I feel like in relationships, like, you do need to compromise certain things. Like, especially if you guys want to be together and you guys love each other. I feel like um, there needs to be compromise in certain aspects because... Especially if the compromise isn't that big of a deal, if that makes sense. Because, like, the compromise truly isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion. Like, I'm down. Anyways, <laughs> you guys are probably so confused. I love that. Okay. No, I'm not being pushed into a poly relationship. Trust me. Amber, I think you'd enjoy a poly relationship. No. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. Because I'm very jealous. Like, she's already explained to me, like... She wants to be in a relationship with me. She just wants, like, <laughs> I don't want to give too much of her business out. But 
obviously like I'm the one that she wants you know in like all aspects but I don't know it's just I'm very like jealous <sighs> and like I honestly if I was to hook up with someone else I feel like I would just be thinking of her like that's just the way that I see things I don't know um no wifey is not trans you don't need to compromise if it involves adding a third person I don't, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, just forget the topic. Trust me, I'm totally fine with what we've agreed to. It's not like I'm totally fine with it. Like, I want to do it, if that makes sense. So, is that why you're a little more comfortable with men now? Mm, comfortable with men? I don't really know what that means. But you mean, like, me questioning if I'm a lesbian? No, that has nothing to do with it, I don't think. Mm, no. I guess I've just been confused the last couple of years because like Eric and Ricky and Becky, especially they're all like, you're not a lesbian. You're not a lesbian. Oh my God. There's no way. And it's just like, maybe they saw something before I did. Like obviously pussy first, <laughs> like let's be real. But I don't know. Would I experiment with a guy? I, yes, I would. And it is what it is. So do you believe in having multiple soulmates or do you think wifey is one? Uh, oh, and do you think wifey is one? Yes, I think that there is, like, multiple soulmate situations. Like, you can find a soulmate and a friend. Um, it doesn't just have to be, like, a sexual relationship or whatever. Like, I feel like Twinkie is my, like, dog soulmate. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. I feel like she was meant to be in my life for sure. And then, like, Rarity and Wasabi, like, also perfect. Um, so, is Wifey my soulmate? I feel like, how do you answer that question? Um, <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Okay. When do you notice and how do you notice if that makes sense? Because I'm going to be honest, Crystal was my best friend soulmate and I didn't realize that until like years later. Like I'm talking like five years later, I was like, this bitch right here is my best friend soulmate. So it's like one of those moments. Is wifey understanding of your binge eating disorder? I haven't like fully went into it with her. Um, maybe I have. I don't really talk about it because I haven't binged in so long. So I don't know. Do you and wifey want kids together? We are, we're both very like, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Like it's like back and forth um, when it comes to like wanting a kid. Not like us together. I mean, we don't know the future, but I'm just saying like in general, you know, So you think after you get comfortable with wifey, you'll give into your urges more? Um, no, I don't think so. Like my mom said something to me the other day because she was asking about like my binging or whatever. And she's like, do you think that your girlfriend like fills a void that you had? Like that's the reason why you binged. And that very well could be it because it's like I binged when I was so sad and like so depressed and I just don't. Like, I'm sad about normal things. Obviously, now, like, a lot of crying today because, of, like, my dad and stuff. Um, but I don't feel... Like, I don't know. She just makes me happy. So, it's like, why... Why would I need to, like, binge? I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but she just makes me happy. So, it helps a lot. I don't think wifey is controlling. I think she's just more dominant than her past relationships, which could really be a good thing. Yeah, and it's like, you know, it's really weird. I never wanted dominance from anyone else in the past. Like, no to Becky, no to Destiny, no to Crystal. Like, I did not want that from anybody. Like, don't even. But with her, it's, like, different. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's kind of hot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's just different. You can't explain it? That's fine. Are you jealous that Becky will be live streaming? Are you worried she will accidentally reveal things about you that you don't want public? Absolutely not. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Where did you walk for 5K steps? I walk um, around the apartments. Um, bring Twinkie every single time. <sighs> yeah. And I also walked up a set of stairs today. And I did some yesterday. And I honestly shocked myself. And I know that sounds so ridiculous. Like, everyone should be able to walk upstairs. Like, whatever. But, I don't know. I shocked myself. Oh, okay. So I'm a couch bound 500 plus pound goddess. Okay. Love fat shaming. It's my actual favorite. 
sure. No hate on Becky, but why didn't she want to work the entire time you were together? Because I just supported us both. I don't understand why everyone loves Becky and treats ALR like crap. Becky literally got a free ride from AR. Oh, you say AR instead of ALR. Love that. Proposed and then suddenly changed her mind but still lives there. I ain't saying nothing. I was just reading it. Interesting. Amber, no hate, but you're too old to be acting this slow sometimes. Oh my God. That's really funny that you say that because for some reason, there's like a few people in my life who think that I play dumb. I promise you, I really truly don't. Like I have, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone thinks that. And then, was it Ricky who said it? He's like, it's just your personality at this point. It's a character that you play. And I'm just like, what? What? I don't know. I don't see what y'all see. I have to pee. Okay, I've been the biggest supporter for over a year and I've spent too much on nice super chats just to get ignored. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was ignoring yours. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I have to pee so bad right now. 